I would consider sign painting the art of painting letters as perfectly as possible on all sorts of different surfaces. I'm Chris Mackenzie Gray. I'm a sign painter and my business is Two Consigns. Large letters, small letters, anything with letters. I've painted a 20 by 20 metre S on the top of a gas tanker in Dagenham, a door number that was one metre high by one and a half metres wide. If it stays still long enough, we'll paint it, I suppose. <laughs> no matter what sign it is, I'm always learning how to do something better. I'm always practising how to do the little twist and flick at the end of each line better. That's something that I really enjoy. I also really like the fact that I'm involved in something that's really, really old. With an area like Farringdon and Clark and Well, I guess because I've lived so close, I've always wanted to like walk a different route or go a different way. It just seems so sort of like higgledy piggledy around there. Long before I became a sign painter, I was aware that there were signs that had been painted. I think there's a lot of quite standard signs that have a lot of beauty, in my opinion, nowadays, but I think the things that would originally catch my eye were perhaps something that was a bit more strange and out there. I used to go to the library when I was a little kid. This one, yeah, yeah. Oh, they've got little bits of mother of pearl. It always looks great, I think. The area around Farringdon and Smithfield has always been a working area. In the 19th century, there was a sort of flowering of different types of type. And this sort of links in with the sign writers who would also be decorating the shop fronts. It's pretty rare that you'd see a sign that's so bright and pink. I think the, the script is just beautiful, really. I really, really like these kind of traditional market signs. It's like a style in its own. This is especially nice, I think. I love the O, oh, just that kick into the L. It's just such a nice touch. We just wanted to get some footage of the open and closed. Just, just really nice, that's all. Thank you very much. I, mean, I, I really like this. Another example of water gilding. Culture Mile is situated in the northwest corner of the city of London, where a whole series of new artistic creative events will happen, led by the Corporation of London and some of the important cultural partners in the area. That's why I love this area, because you've got the old on one side and you've got the new on the other side. There's a real kind of like link to the past there. Oh -ho! This is my, one of my favourites. Two strokes, one on the outside, one on the inside, one across. That's the thing that I like the most about sign painting is when you can see where someone's hand has been. I don't know, something special about it. To be able to do block lettering, that's like one of the real foundations of sign painting. You draw up a line at the top, a line at the bottom, and then you just paint it in real fast. I think there's something extra special about a sign that's lasted even longer than the business it was originally painted for. I really, really like that idea that I could create something that might last a long time. A lot of the old businesses, they're changing into other things and demanding their names to go up. So there is a link between the sign writer today and the designers of those amazing types that were produced in the late 19th, early 20th century. There is inspiring a younger generation of artists and sign writers today.